This guy stole my package and he's about to open it in his house. Hello. But what he doesn't know is that this is a new and improved custom built bait package that is recording him on four different cameras that just released a pound of the world's finest glitter along with some other nasty surprises. What the f But to understand how we got to this point, we need to go back one and a half years. Because that's when someone stole a package from my porch, and the police wouldn't do anything about it even with the video footage, which made me sad. And so drawing inspiration from one of my childhood heroes, I decided to make a bait package to lure would-be thieves, and the internet seemed to like it. But despite my best efforts, 1.7 million packages are either stolen or go missing every day. Hello. Macaulay Culkin? I'm sorry, it's just that Home Alone was the entire inspiration for the glitter bomb. No, no, that's cool, I, I love that. Just that I do other things with my life, like run my website, bunnyears.com. But seriously though, your design was good, but actually I think I can make it a little bit better. And so with Macaulay's help, my friend Sean and I have literally spent the last 10 months designing, building, and testing a new and improved design for 2019. So today I'm going to walk you through all the upgrades and then show you what happens when you unleash 10 of these bait packages on random suburban porches all across America. We started with a complete redesign of the box to make it more streamlined and secure. For contrast, last year's design was a bit of a rat's nest. The fundamentals are still the same where you have a battery powered custom printed circuit board on the bottom that has a built in accelerometer so it can sense when it's been jostled and then it tells these four phones to start recording. And these are wide angle lenses, so as you can see, you'll be able to record the thief no matter which side they open it from. And then right here we have some fart spray, but we added a second bottle this year. So as both these motors spin cams around, not only does it spray twice as much, but we changed the formula this time around, and it is wretched. Dude, <laughs> oh man, oh, it's in my mouth, man. I feel like it just ate a turd. <laughs> Never done that to be clear. And just to prove how much worse it was, I sprayed last year's formula labeled A, and then this year's formula labeled B for 10 different people without telling them which was which. Oh, <laughs> that's like proper poo. <laughs> oh God, <laughs> he just took a dump on my face. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I can still smell it. God. I'm sorry, I killed Macaulay Culkin. <laughs> so, A or B, Matt? B. B. B by a mile. All ten independently agreed this year's was much worse. And then we keep spraying it every 30 seconds to ensure they get rid of the package out of their house before they realize there's four phones inside. This increases our chances of recovering it since we already know the package location at all times due to the GPS tracking on all the phones. But even if we somehow don't recover it, all these phones have LTE data plans, so they'll upload their footage to the cloud right away so then we can see what happened. And then we have the main course, which is the spinning cup powered by a motor underneath here, which we fill with the finest glitter we could find, which is actually biodegradable this year as a nod to our good friend, Mother Earth. We also added sound effects this year, so after both the glitter and the fart spray have successfully deployed, we start counting down. Five, four, three. Nothing actually happens at the end, but they won't know that. And then finally after that, we added some fake police scanner chatter, just because it seemed like the right thing to do. Seems the package may be in motion as well. So as you can see, once you slip this cover over, it becomes nearly impossible to access the phones now without special tools. And so finally we've got the lid, which has these two holes here, which we cover with one-way film, so we can record the outside world even when the lid is on. And you'll notice this is a total custom print. These are the fictitious Buzz 700s, named of course after Kevin's older brother. And if the thieves took just two seconds to actually inspect the package, they would see that all the words on the side are just slightly modified quotes from Home Alone, in addition to this amazing testimonial. And so then we just slapped on a fake shipping label and used a random barcode sticker to cover up the nightly charging port and we were good to go. So the idea is the bad guy comes sneaking by and then steals it off the porch and then when they eventually remove the lid, a magnet taped inside triggers this Hall effect sensor which tells the circuit board brain it's go time and everything is set in motion. And as far as I'm concerned, relatively harmless, karmic justice has never looked so beautiful.
And so now all that was left was to find porches for all the boxes. So I sent out a call to all my followers on social media and we received over 400 applicants who have all dealt with repeated package thefts in the past. And then from that, we narrowed the list down to just a handful and soon we had packages out all over the country. We also set up a website so I could sit in my back cave here and monitor all the boxes to see their current locations, record states, battery phone levels, and even check the camera feed on any box at any time. And things started out a bit rocky when we got a notification that the first box was stolen and then we noticed it was intermittently moving all throughout the city. So while we were trying to locate it, we checked the feed and realized a UPS driver was so convinced the package was real, he scanned it and picked it up and it was riding around in his truck. Next, when someone else picked up the box, we didn't have the lid seal fully worked out yet. So as they were walking around, glitter started to spill out. Oh, look at that. There's glitter coming out of it. Oh, it's totally scanned. Yo, Nick! Which is, as they say, Thank you very much. Giveaway. It's totally a scam. When you open it, it's gonna explode with glitter. Hello. This lady took it off a porch, but opened it upside down. As soon as she heard the countdown timer, though, she rushed it back to the porch she stole it from, just in time for nothing to happen. But then the thefts began to pile up, and we started hitting our stride. Oh my god. I mean, I don't know. Let me put it back. Where is that the mess? Recovery sequence initiated. Seems like it may be in motion as well. Sparkle, look at this. You opened it, yeah. It's like, remember that that like, money opened money turned blue? That's out of the white. Okay, look at it. Yeah, but I'll try to look at it. And the smell, it stinks, and then the stuff shut up. What do you mean? Oh, that was a. Uh... You open it and throw it out. Super nasty fart initiated. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7. Hello! Keep the change, you filthy animal. What is it? No, it's still a speaker. Yeah, what is it? Yeah. Dude, there has to be still something in there, right? What is it? Hey, get out of here. No, dude, what the f- 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. I don't know, dude. <laughs> no, no. Ten four, I got a read on the GPS location. I'm about six minutes away. Over. What the f? I'm gonna open it, dude. I told you that to open it. Who is that? Get out! 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 After we tracked down this package and recovered it by the dumpster, we walked by the store and they were sweeping and spraying Febreze, which felt amazing. I bought you some headphones. I bought you some Bose headphones. Okay? Some really good ones. Surprise, mother <laughs> Trumpet initiated. 
Oh, you f Alright, alright, we f***ing, alright, alright, we f***ing get it, okay. It smells like f***ing shit in here. And in the middle of all this, something happened that I still can't wrap my head around. One of the volunteers we sent a package to, who obviously knows my channel and follows me on social media, who I even interviewed to make sure he seemed legit, decided it would be a good idea to steal my package from me and never had any intention of either putting it out on his porch or sending it back to us. After a week of us being really nice and trying to work with him, he effectively admitted as such and then blocked and ghosted me. And it's just like, bro, if you're gonna steal from someone, don't pick the dude who just spent a year and a half of his life avenging the theft of a $5 Amazon package. If I'm willing to get that petty over something I could easily reorder, what do you think I'm gonna do to the guy who steals the outcome of that year and a half of work? I quit my job at NASA to make YouTube videos and I only make 12 of them a year. So I have plenty of time and I love to obsess over these little details. Plus, even though this is more of a science channel than a prank channel, I love coming up with these ideas. Like when I took this Freddy Krueger action figure and taped it to the back of my wife's car right in front of the backup camera. So when he puts it in the reverse, this is what And so after a little detective work, I discovered he gave us his real name and phone number, but he shipped it to his buddy's address. So I found his real address and then did two relatively harmless things. The first is I've heard once the Scientologists have your contact info and know you're even remotely interested, they will follow you the rest of your life. And so since I had all his contact info, hypothetically, I might have gone on their website and said I was very interested in learning more and then ordered $300 worth of their starting course material so they know he's a very high value contact worth keeping track of. And the second thing was, I designed over 10 custom postcards just for him. For example, he's from Texas so I thought a thank you note for his $500 donation to Texans for Hillary Clinton's presidential campaign would be nice. Or this registration confirmation for the upcoming furry convention. But the trick is, while I addressed it in his name, I went on Google Maps and looked up his neighbor's addresses, and hypothetically, I might have accidentally sent them to a random assortment of houses around him. A lot of these are great, because it's the exact type of thing where the more you deny it, the more guilty you look. So some of these will inevitably be hand-delivered to his mailbox by his neighbors who spot the air, and he'll always be second guessing just how many more there were and who's silently judging him at the neighborhood potluck. Now I want to mention we encountered good people out in the world too, who were trying to actually keep our boxes from being stolen. For example, this woman did that, but even still the package was stolen just 30 minutes later by a professional porch pirate who knew exactly how to cover up her face. But then we said, oh, hold up, roll that tape back. Unbelievably, she has the same body type and owns the exact same shoes and pants as that good Samaritan. So we turned the footage over to the police to see if they too could appreciate the coincidence. And it just goes to show you that your conception of who a porch pirate is might be totally off. I'm just kidding. This was a super nice lady who took the package in for her neighbor. But it got us thinking, and instead of just always punishing the bad guys, we wanted to try and reward the good guys. So in some cases, we left it by an apartment mailbox, and we changed the label to a real name and left tons of contact information, like phone number and email, all over the label. And quite a few people took the package back to their house, but instead of opening it, they called to tell us they had our package because they were worried someone else would take it. And so instead of glitter and fart spray, I gave them $400 because that was the opportunity cost for them when they made the right choice. Thank you, Thank you. for being one of the good ones, Thank man. You. Others, however, didn't make the call. Surprise, mother Thank you. 
Hello? 